Cisco Spark Auto Attendant. So in my last video, I kind of went over a little bit of what Cisco Spark is, but for you, for those of you that are new to this, it's Cisco's cloud collaboration platform. So instead of having communication manager on-prem, I can now register phones directly to Cisco Spark and Cisco will take care of all your PSTN calling out and it can be a full-fledged phone system uh, in Cisco's cloud. So no on-premise equipment for you to host whatsoever. Uh, my last video, again, we went over adding users, adding devices to those users. Now we're going to take a look at a little bit more advanced functionality. We're going to go in and we're going to actually add in a auto attendant here. So maybe your main greeting when someone calls your main number of your company. To do that, we're going to start on our main page here and we're going to go over to services. And once I'm in services, I'm going to go under features right in the middle there. Click on that and then in here is where I can do some of the more advanced features of, of Spark. I can set up my auto attendant, I can set up hunk groups, and I can also set up my call park right from the same screen here. Uh, in order to get started, we'll just click new and again it asks us what would I like to create. I'm going to go ahead and create the auto attendant here. I'm going to probably do a couple other videos showing hunk groups and maybe even another one doing uh, call park, but today we'll start with the auto attendant. And once you get in here, you've got a couple different options. They all kind of take you to the same thing. We'll just uh, start with a custom one here. You guys can play around these in your free time if you want to. Um, but like I said, they really take you to the same place. So we got to give our auto attendant a name. So we're going to call this Arnold's Breakfast Hotline. It's going to be uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's hotline for anything to do with breakfast. And we're going to start here. So... Um, basically the first thing you do here is you select which directory number you want for the uh, auto attendant to pick up on so we'll just select the first number we have available which is 4015 and once we do that then it says okay what kind of schedule do you want is your business open 24 uh, 7 do you want to break it up a little bit are you only open from 8 to 5 for us we're gonna customize this a little bit here since this is breakfast maybe we'll start at 5 a.m. and his hotline is open till uh, I don't know 6 p.m. let's say and then you need to pick hours for your hotline so let's say or you gotta pick days here so Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday we're open um, Friday too and then I could also add custom hours here so maybe on Saturday and Sunday it's a little bit different of a schedule so I could say add in more days here and I could say on Saturdays we're open but only from 5 a.m. until let's say 10 a.m. we're only open for a couple hours in the morning and that's all you get for Arnold's Bre breakfast hotline on Saturday so you select the Saturday box there you could also add in custom holidays at the bottom um, I'm not gonna go into that we're just gonna keep it simple for now and we're gonna say save on this then you can see it kind of breaks it out here into two charts. So on the left side, here is what I have for open. And then on the right side is where I have for you know off hours times. And I can make two different auto attendance or greetings, let's say, for these two different times of the day here. So first we're going to start with open hours. And we're going to create a new step here. So if it's Monday through Friday between 5 and 6 or Saturday between 5 and 10 and someone calls 4015, what do I want to happen? And we're going to click the plus sign there. And here's my actions. So they can come in and they can dial an extension. You know, there's no fun in that. I can create a phone menu. I could route the call to another extension if I want to, or I could say a message. Now, Typically, um, you either do phone menu or say a message first, and I'm going to actually start with say a message, and the reason I have this up here first, and we'll show you guys in a second here, is this way it they have to listen to that full message first before they start hitting numbers. You may not want that. You could go right into a menu if you wanted to and then have this greeting at the top, and as soon as they get through, they can start hitting buttons. So I'll demo to what this looks like here. And I'm just going to copy and paste some information over. And we have some information in here. Now you can see the first thing I put in here is actually a WAV file. So if you want to create your own custom greetings, all you have to do is make it a WAV or an MP3, and you paste it right in here. Maybe you want to mix, so maybe you don't want to throw 
uh, a WAV file and you'd rather have a computer generated voice say something, well, you can throw that in there as well. And I can just say, welcome to Arnold's breakfast hotline. And then you get to pick what language and what voice you want this to say. So I'm going to save this just, just for now, just so you guys can hear what this sounds like. So I have an MP3 that's going to play first. Then, I'm gonna, then we're going to say, welcome to Arnold's breakfast hotline. And it's going to be said by Vanessa. I don't know who Vanessa is. And it's going to be in English. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to dial this number. Good morning. Welcome to Arnold's breakfast hotline. And that's it. You notice the phone actually disconnected because that's the next thing in our tree here is disconnect. Now, the really cool thing about Spark and what they did here is you can actually select languages. And, you know, I'm not an expert in, in Spanish whatsoever, but if I wanted to say, welcome to Brec Arnold's Breakfast Hotline in Spanish, I could just pick that and I can say, okay, let's say it in Spanish and, you know, the Mexican dialect, I guess that's what this is saying here. And again, I could pick the voice. So we'll leave it as Angelica here and we'll save it. Now listen for the translation because it's actually going to translate Welcome to Arnold's Breakfast Hotline in Spanish. Good morning. Welcome to Arnold's Breakfast Hotline. So really awesome. Like I started playing around with this and one of the things that uh, probably got me the most excited on here. Uh, great for if you're having, you know, press two for Spanish and then you could have all your menus in Spanish. You don't have to be an expert in Spanish. I don't know how, how good the, the translation here is on these. Um, love for you guys to tell me in the comments if, uh, if, if it's doing a good job or not, but I thought it was pretty cool. So if we wanted to, we'll continue to build this out. I'm going to change this back to English and maybe we'll leave it as uh, Australian English so we get a little bit of an accent there. And the next step here is to add our menu. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to say create a phone menu. And now here's my message. And this is where typically you're going to say press 1 for this, press 2 for that. And I'm just going to copy and paste some information in here. So we're going to say press 1 if you want to talk to an expert about eggs. Press 2 if you want to talk to an expert about cereal. And press 3 to be terminated. And that will uh, throw us over to, to another WAV file uh, with something else. And you'll be disconnected. So again, I have the same options here. Who wants to say all of this? Vanessa, I could do it in Spanish. Maybe we'll play around with that in a minute. Um, but we'll leave it as Vanessa right now in U.S. English. Now this is where I add in here uh, what each digit does. So if I press 1, okay, I need to choose an action. And we'll select this to 1. And what we're going to do here is I'm just going to transfer this call to... Uh, a user so I can route it directly to a user I could do a bunch of other things in here I could send it to another auto attendant if I wanted to maybe they press 2 and then it goes to my Spanish auto attendant if you want to do it that way you can route it to a hunk group maybe you've got a bunch of experts that are sitting around and it's the butterball turkey hotline and you want to do a small uh, call center like that you can route it to a, a hunt line or a hunk group right here for us again we're just gonna do the remote user and then I go in here and I say, okay, I need to select who that user is going to be. So because we're talking about eggs, I've got Johnny Eggs that I'm going to be putting in here. So sometimes this takes a second to populate, but there we go. I have Johnny Eggs in there. His extension is 4017. And number two is our serial expert. And we're going to route this one again to another user. And this is Joey Serial that I've got here. So we're going to add in Joey Serial. All right. And after you have Joey Serial added in here, uh, make sure we change his number to choice two. And then number three says to be terminated. So what I'm going to do with the third choice here is I'm going to route it to another auto attendant and in that auto attendant I just have it saying a message and then disconnecting. So we get to select here which auto attendant we want it to and we're going to say Arnold terminated auto attendant. And we'll go through these again so you guys can hear what they what actually happens when we do this. So I have this saved right now. 
So we're going to call in again, and the first thing we're going to hear is the Arnold WAV file play. Then we're going to read off, welcome to Arnold's breakfast hotline. Can't press any buttons during this. Then I get into the phone menu portion. Here's the message, press 1, 2, and 3. And then here's my actions for 1, 2, and 3. So let's call in again, and I'll play the whole message, and then we'll, we'll press a couple buttons here. Good morning. Welcome to Arnold's Breakfast Hotline. Press 1 if you want to talk with an expert about eggs. Press 2 if you want to talk with an expert about cereal. Press 3 to be terminated. So if I press 1, it's just going to ring out to, to that user that I put in here. Um, I'm just going to end this because I don't, I don't have anyone that's really going to pick up on the other end there. If I call back in, now notice I'm gonna, when we call back in, I'm going to start hitting buttons. You're going to notice that nothing's going to happen because I'm not at the phone menu portion yet. Good morning. Welcome to Arnold's Breakfast Hotline. Press 1 if you want to now talk I can with press an expert buttons. about eggs. Press 2 if you want to talk with an expert about cereal. Press 3 to be terminated. And we'll press 3 to be terminated, just so you guys can hear what that sounds like. You are terminated. And now you see the phone got automatically disconnected. So it's really as simple as it can be for for creating your main schedule and everything when you're open for closed maybe you want to do a little bit something different for that you can do really the exact same thing um, you just build out this tree on the right side here so let's say I want to do add new step and really for this one all I really want to do is have a message come up so I'm just gonna say same message and we'll put those two messages in there, a couple again, wave files or MP3s, whatever you want to do, and you can you could stack multiple wave files on top of each other too. In here, just like I did. Um, so to see what that sounds like, I have to change my schedule right now because it is not. Uh, we are not closed, so I need to change this from 6 p.m. We'll change it to 5 p.m. because it's just after 5 p.m. where I am. And now, because it's after 5 p.m., you guys can probably see at the top of my computer here, it's 5.09. When we call back in, it's going to route over to the closed hours, and we're going to go through this side of the tree. I'll be back. Hasta la vista, baby. And we're done. So, you know, just messing around a little bit. It is pretty fun to play with these... Uh, these languages and, and do the translation. I mean, if you want, I'm Italian, so I always like hearing the Italian accent when uh, we're doing some of these things. So I put that in here, and let me change the hours. Again, we'll go back to 6 o'clock. And now we should be live again. And let's hear what that sounds like. Good morning. Welcome to Arnold's Breakfast Hotline. So there you go. You get it in Italian that time. So guys, I mean, this is this is super simple. Once you start playing around with it, it's very, very intuitive. A lot easier than than what Communication Manager and Unity Connection was to set up. Um, not that those were difficult really at all either but uh this is this is just so much so much easier and, and so much nicer looking so that's it for today if you guys have any questions or comments or have got another idea for a different video uh please let me know in the comment section and we'll try to get to it thanks a lot